Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video of, of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today is a different one. Uh, it's not actual gameplay. It's me going over the trailer that was launched yesterday for year two. So you can see that in the background right now. They're just going over um, what they had done in year one, how many players played the game, stuff like that. So I'm reading information given from Ubisoft um, to, I guess, IGN. Um, I don't know exactly how that works, but what we can see in the video is there will be four more free DLCs. Uh, the first one being on April 10th. Um, it says each of these will feature a different theme, updates for PvE campaign including special missions and challenges with exclusive rewards, updates to the Ghost War PvP mode, and features which have been requested by the community. The first biggest update Special Operations 1 will be on April 10th, uh, so that's only a few days away, which is really cool. I'm assuming they're going to go every um, three months, so there's four of them coming out, so April, and you guys can go through that when, when you think they'll release each update. To me, it seems like every three months, since there's four of them for the year. Uh, but the biggest thing that I want to talk about isn't what's coming in, in the first week. Uh, special missions or special operations um, because the customization of AI is cool but that's not what what I'm excited for mostly it's the last part of this thing that uh, the IGN editor posts and it says features which have been requested by the community now the first video I did for Ghost Recon Wildlands on my channel um, a few weeks back I had recommended different or given my thoughts on what I think they should add into the game um, to prolong the life of it. I'm still having fun with the game. I still enjoy it just as much as I did before. Um, some of the stuff that I've I've done, you know, the the wow factors there and, and gone, but I'm still really enjoying the game. And actually, I want to thank Ubisoft. I doubt they'll ever see the video, but I had issues with my... Um, my free weapons that were included in the PvP from uh, the Ghost War or not Ghost War uh, Fallen Ghost DLC. I had the second patch that they did. I didn't receive any of my weapons, and I just got um, a message back on their forms saying that the gentleman that I was speaking to had added in all of the weapons for me that I had listed. I wasn't. I was missing so I just wanted to thank them very much so that's awesome I finally have them all so I can use the crossbow which I'll be making a video on soon <laughs> um, but yeah so features um, requested by the community so that can be I'm hoping a lot of stuff to do with PVE um, and some of the stuff that that I talked about might get added in um, I also posted on their forums and like I said before, this is stuff that not just me, but other people that I've spoken to have also mentioned that they'd like to see in the game. So, fingers crossed that some of the stuff will come in and we'll, we'll see some of that. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that is my thoughts on their, their year two. I'm glad to see that they're doing one. Um, a lot of people have also said on forums and stuff like that that they're, they've been concerned from day one about the lack of communication between the wildlands teams and the community and i kind of noticed that as well um not getting any information on you know stuff that's going on like they had a they had a, a thing recently where if you hunted the predator um the most amount of times within a specific date which the dates were wrong on their website anyway you um you would either get or get the equivalent of the predator pack for free they would add it into your account and all you had to do was kill the predator the most now it said that it was going from one date to the other but those dates didn't match up they they weren't the correct dates so that was all the information we got about it and then a few weeks later i saw that a couple people won there was no updates nothing on the actual game to indicate that this was going on nothing so hopefully year two, they'll, you know, they will um, 
communicate with the community a little bit more. They're clearly listening to some stuff. I mean, they're adding in AI customization, which is a big thing that people wanted. So hopefully they'll they'll listen to people a bit more this year. Fingers crossed. But I know they're busy. Sorry, just some coffee there. Uh, but yeah, so I, I can't really comment on PvP as I'm not a PvP player. Uh, it was fun for the little bit that I did play, but I just... I this isn't a PvP game for me, so I'm hoping that a lot more PvE content is going to be added, not just packs, not just weapon skins or, you know, um, uh, outfits, that kind of stuff, but actual, like, gameplay changes, so hopefully I can see some of that coming in, um, but yeah, so that is my thoughts on it all. Uh, let me know what you all think. Leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, uh, like it, obviously. <laughs> that would be appreciated to know that, that uh, you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. Uh, and if you want to see more, subscribe to be notified when, when I upload another video. You all take care and have a good day.